What is up, guys? It's Country Boy here from Team Yeti Gaming, bringing you another smart video. And if you watched my last video I posted, then you probably already knew what build was coming. So today we're going to be looking at the Bringer Ragnarok himself, Fenrir. Now, if you've never seen any of my videos before, I will show you my personal item build, and I will actually tell you how I play this character, along with any tips that I can think of. Now, I'll post the timeline in the description if you're here for just one thing only. Now, Season 5 is close, and I know there's going to be some changes. Now, I can only hope that this build will actually be relevant. But until then, let's get started, shall we? Always, we're going to go ahead and start off with the build now if you're watching the gameplay you will see that I'm actually going full crit damage here and this is the fun build to play and that and the full attack speed fender is pretty fun too but it's a build that you can kind of mess around with with your friends if you just want to play for you know giggles or whatever but I will actually give you a more serious build and how I usually play Fenrir if I'm trying to win. Now I start with the jungle. We go with Bumba's Mask, Bluestone Pendant, or Death's Toe. Either one is fine. And some potions. Now after the star items, I will build into Warriors Tobby, Heart Seeker, Yellow Draft, and Titan Bay. Now I normally go ahead with the build but I'm leaving these last two item spots open because you can basically keep going for full power or you can build some defenses. Now these four items are more like my core set. Now personally, the last two items I like to go as defensive items on Fenrir. So I'll give you some alternative items. They are the Brawler's Beat Stick, Wind Demon, if you want some crit damage in your life. Stone Cutting Sword, Wing Blade, Breastplate of Valor, and the Hide of the Urchin. Now, Hide of the Urchin is a good item you can get if you can get the kills and assists to build the stacks. But if you but if you can't get it, it's a hard price to pay. Now, I normally actually get hide in like Clash, Joust, and Arena, and stuff like that. Also. Shifter Shield and Void Shield are two other good alternative items that you might want to look at picking up. Now Relics, we go with Beads, Aegis, Sprint, and Blink. Now I use this same build in all other game modes. I may actually buy Hide of the Urchin first in some game modes. That way I can get my stacks a lot faster. Now that we got the build out of the way, let's talk about his abilities for a few moments. Now his passive says that uh, he will stack ruins each time you hit an enemy minion, god, or buff camp in general. Now at 5 stacks, all of Fenrir's abilities have extra benefits and the ruins are consumed. Also if you kill an enemy god, the ruins go back to full stacks. Now that used to be the case. But they recently done some changes to Fenrir, and his second ability no longer consumes your ruins, and it does nothing else special. I don't. I just think they need to reword his passive a little bit. Now his first ability, though, Unchained, is a leap, and it deals damage to all the enemies when he lands. At full ruins, the leap stuns the enemy that it hits. And if the leap hits a god, the cooldown is halved. Now the second ability uh, is a buff. Like I said, it used to consume the ruins, but it no longer consumes them. And it gives you physical power and life steal. Now his third ability, you get an increased protections and you pounce to the ground target location. Now if there's any enemy in the radius, including minions, 
He strikes them four times, dealing damage with each strike while being immune to knockups. At full ruins, each strike deals 75% damage to nearby enemies. Now, an important tip that it doesn't tell you on here is if an enemy god tries to dash away, the ability will continue to follow the player dealing damage. However, if a character has a leap, it will cancel the ability. So keep that in mind if you're facing characters with dashes like Chiron, Knox, and Apollo, you can keep up with them if they use their dash. Now, it's fourth ability, Ragnarok. You're immune to CC while moving faster, and you can buy enemy gods dealing physical damage and can carry them away. However, if you bite a CC immune character, the effect will end. You will deal the damage, but you will not be able to carry them, and the ultimate will end. Now, for ruins, your protections are doubled. An important tip on this one is that if there is a Geb on the enemy team, or a Hail, or anyone with a cleanse, your ult can basically be stopped, and you can drop the player that you're carrying. So they're pretty hard counters to Fender, so you want to make sure if you see that they're picking that to maybe not go with Fender. Now I want to talk about how to combo his abilities for the most damage. First you want to get your ruins to max level. It's one of the most important things. Now after you get your ruins maxed, you want to activate your second ability to the buff, and then you want to use your first ability to leap and stun the target. Use a basic attack. Now after your basic attack, the stun should be over and they're probably gonna to try to get away from you. Now if a character has a dash, you can use your third ability. Now this should keep you on top of them while they're dashing. After that, if you need to use your ult, go for it to drag them back or secure the kill. Now if a character has a leap, you don't wanna to try to use your third ability right away because they may just go ahead and leap but if you do use it in this situation try to get as much damage as you possibly can by activating your buff first then hitting your third ability and if they jump and leap away you can use your first ability to jump and leap for the chase or if need be to retreat and then you can use your ult to secure the kill or drag them back now another tip is you want to stack your runes, use your leap to stun the enemy, use your ult, bite down, and drag them back towards your team. Then use your third ability for the most damage possible. Now my last tip requires a blink rune. It's kind of similar to the one I just mentioned. But you want to stack your runes, blink in with your ult, bite down on the enemy, and drag them back to your team. If this don't finish them, use your buff and then your third ability. If they have a dash, and if they have a leap, wait for them to jump away and then use your leap to follow them and then use your third ability for the win. Now that's my finger build guys though, and my how to play guide. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to smash that like button for us and if you're not a member of Team Yeti, Make sure you hit that subscribe button, button, I can't talk today, and turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Country Boy from Team Yeti, and I hope I see you in the next one.